What's up? Welcome back to Caroline Pang. Summer video from us. Yes, it's beautiful, pleasant summer. You can see a lot of sunshine, and we are in our summer clothes now. Yeah, and uh, out of jackets. Yes, we are out from our jackets and everything. And today we are going to visit the Copenhagen Zoo. Yes, the Copenhagen Zoo. We are almost there. We have to get down at this stop called Roskilde Vi. Uh, that's the closest stop to Copenhagen Zoo. Uh, we have a lot of public transport operation uh, options here. So this comes in this Fredericksburg commune. Yeah. So uh, it's a very uh, strange concept. The Copenhagen commune. Uh, you have the Copenhagen commune, and within the Copenhagen commune, you have another commune called the Fredericksburg commune. I don't know the reason why it's so, but this zoo but comes in the Fredericksburg commune. That's like that. Yes. And a quick fact about the zoo. This is one of the oldest zoos in Europe. Okay. Yeah. And there are a few uh, rare species also. So the rest of the things we'll show you once we are inside the zoo. So the zoo ticket costs actually. Um, um, one and two. Yeah, for both of us it is 478 kroner. So you can divide that by two. I'll put it down here. Uh, so that's the ticket for adult. And uh, you can see the ticket prices on their website. Yeah, when you go there. So. We we'll going. I will show you the zoo. Let's go. Let's go straight to There are already a lot of people outside the zoo. We are almost there. At the entrance. They are all leaving, and we are just entering. Yeah, zoo. we are entering. Yeah. So the zoo is open from 9 a.m. until 6 p.m. in the evening. Yeah. And here's Wait, the first. Yeah, it should be. Yeah. So that's the first glimpse of the zoo. Say zoo, let's go in. And this is the entrance, I think. No, 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 the entrance. Is it? This is not the entrance? Nine. 34? No? Okay. Ah, because when we came from the office, this was the entrance. Okay. Yeah. So this is the main entrance to the zoo. Super. You can see a small dino replica here. I don't know what dino this is. Of course, it's not a T Rex. Yeah. Super. So you can see people standing in the queue for tickets. But we have an online ticket. So we can skip the line. So you can book your tickets online. Yeah. So it says today the zoo is open until 1800 hours, 6 pm. Yeah. So let's go in. We just entered the zoo and it's absolutely amazing atmosphere here so as soon as you enter uh, you have a cafe and this is the big landmark for the Copenhagen Zoo beautiful so yeah and there's a lot of shops here small shops where you can buy some souvenirs from the zoo and we have one of them in our home this pandu this Panda. We have one of them back home. Yeah. Great. Facts about this landmark. It's called the Zoo Tower. Uh, this thing. This Zoo Tower. I think it's recently opened. And there are some quick facts here. It says you 16 kilometers until the Oresun Bridge. And 7,343 kilometers till the Chengdu Panda Base in China. Yeah. And something in 123 kilometers. But now we have the map here. Yeah, we have the map and now we'll follow the map. So the first part, I think there's a small kind of lake or something here. Oh, it's beautiful. And Kunyu, you're looking beautiful too. They are the flamingos. You can see they're very red. There are quite some good facts about these animals. When we are closer there, we'll let you know. But I don't think we can go closer than this. So let's go around here and let's. I'll tell you something. Let's go. So this is the enclosure of the squirrel monkeys. It's it's very hard to see them. I don't know if you can see. Yes. Oh yes. Here he is. Hi. Hi. <laughs> So you should not bang on the glass that's it over here so they're basically from south america great garden mm. 
Hvad fanden er det? Helt tændt. Flamingos. Er du lige sådan en? Reddish, pinkish. Orangeish. Orangeish. This part of the zoo is called the Arctic Ring. Yeah. And possibly you should be able to see some polar bears in this place here. But for now we cannot see. But maybe we should go. Yes, it's out. It's hot outside. So possibly we go down and they should be underwater. Yeah. But if you come up in the winter, they are always outside. Du kan stå her i hjørnet. Hvor vil du stå? Der er du endda også gerne vil se den, ikke? Okay, så er det bare. One fact. So the Arctic ring, Arctic circle and the Antarctic circle. So North Pole and South Pole. So you cannot find polar bears in the South Pole and you cannot find penguins in the North Pole. Because polar bears will eat the penguins. But that's how nature has intelligently decided that which animals should stay where. Sometimes the sun never sets in the North Pole. That's what this shows. 9 p.m., 12 a.m., 3 a.m. Yeah. So this figure here demonstrates how big a polar bear can be, actually. <laughs> Look at Anu. <laughs> yeah. So it says that it can grow up to like an adult polar bear, to three meters tall, and it can weigh up to 600 kilograms. That is huge. My God. So this is the enclosure of the primates. So you can see the monkeys. There's baboons over there, but I don't know where they are right now because they're not here. But you can see the primates here. Look at the dinosaur, it's moving, Kunyu. See? Kai face or like that? Penguins. Heading on to elephants. Yes. Not till a Kerala elephant. I think they're wanting to show depictions of elephant in different places, yeah. And it's of course mostly from the Asian continent. See how they were used to used in wars and battles. Can 
പക്ഷെ വെള്ളത്തിന് ചാടാൻ പറ്റില്ല അല്ല കരയൊന്നും ഇത്ര ലോങ് ലീപ്പൊന്നും പറ്റില്ല ഫാമിലി ലഞ്ച് Let's go to Australia. കുഞ്ഞു സോ പാണ്ട ബാംബൂ ഇട്ട് പാണ്ട So just besides this you can you have to cross over the road it's an underground tunnel and you go to the children's zoo the playground and the savannas where you see giraffes rhinos deers zebras savanna is type of grasslands you know where you find these kind of animals that's havana havana mama for giraffe long necks the big rhinoceros so huge illa i think as far as my knowledge is concerned it's herbivorous i think theo stop etra varida la so huge ഇതൊരു ഡിഫറെന്റ് ക്യാമറ ഇവിടത്തേക്ക് ആയിരിക്കും രണ്ട് ഹം പെണ്ണു നോക്കും ടു ഹംസ് എന്റെ പേര് നമുക്ക് ഇവിടെ എഴുതി ഇറ്റ്സ് ലൈക്ക് എ ക്യാമൽ ഏതാ 
Mm. Here are the ticket prices. So it's 239 kroner for an adult, 139 for children from 3 to 11, and 0 to 2, it's free. So come here when you are 0 to 2. So, how was your day at the zoo? Yeah, it was good. Yeah, so a different experience. Yeah, you get to see a lot of animals that are not in our normal zoos, in the Asian zoos, yeah? Like the polar bear and yeah. all the stuff, yeah? Penguins. Penguins and stuff, that's really nice. Hi. Super! So that was so, so nice. that was our day at the zoo, yeah? How was it? It was good. Yeah, so we enjoyed the day, it was really nice. We spent like around three to four, four hours, hours here. Yeah. But if you come with a kid, uh, we are sure that you can spend the whole day here because there's a lot, there's a lot of, of activities for the kids yes. and there's a kids park and <laughs> yes there's, yeah. there's a lot to explore yeah and of course when you come with the kid things are even slower yeah so um, uh, you, you get to have them food and all this stuff and there are also eateries inside there are and coffee shops yeah, and everything yes. everything yes a lot of toilets you have all the amenities inside uh, so we would surely recommend you to come and have a look at the zoo the zoo was constructed sometime in 1860s something i don't remember the exact year but it's but very it's old it's a very good zoo yeah it's it's very good it's not like very uh, like tremendously huge but it is it is huge yeah. indeed because it's it's on two sides of the road street yeah so you like literally cross an underway subway to reach the other side and see the other animals so it's it's also huge so we would surely recommend you to come to Copenhagen zoo um so hopefully you like the video yeah and so, until our next video it's fine for us bye bye, bye.